Okay, so one way to make better catfish videos or better bluegill fishing videos or better any kind of videos is to plan out your videos. Uh, I'll, I'll get the composition book and then I'll just write out here literally this week's videos, right? <laughs> right? All right, now let's first talk about well, how many videos should you put out every week on your YouTube channel? I put three to five videos out. Now, I don't run a schedule like some people do. I just try to get the goal of three to five videos a week and stay consistent with that because um, really that's what is, is, is needed. Consistent, relevant content over a long period of time. Three videos a week is the bare minimum it's going to take to really you know, build some momentum and five videos a week is a, the maximum number of videos I can put out consistently over a long period of time without burning out. And I just get the, I post the videos just whenever I can. One, where do you get your ideas for so many videos? If I'm putting out three to five videos a week, that's a lot of content. One, I'm an idea person, it's just my personality. Video communicates three things, emotion, uh, stories, and action. Every time you go fishing, it's filled with all three of those. If, it's, if all you did was just sort of video document your fishing trip, you'll have video to, to put out. But it's obvious I'm not fishing five days a week because I don't have to because of the, the way I fish. I fish according to the so lunar calendar. I only fish the full moon and the new moon, so that means I'm fishing one week and one week I have off. So what do I do? Well, I can do these talking head videos. Because I have such a body of content now, what, like 400 videos and all that, I can actually go into the Google Analytics and look at the actual <laughs> statistics of the videos that you guys are watching, the number of subscribers those videos have generated, the number of views, the, the watch time, the audience retention rates, all that stuff. See how it compares to other videos of the same length and duration, those sorts of things. And I can decide, okay, this is the type of video that people are wanting. Another one is search engine optimization, like you've seen me talk about too, buddy. Just looking at what people are typing in and make videos on that stuff. Another way is just the, the questions and things that you guys have or the comments that you guys make. You've always, you've, you often hear me sit here, oh, Rackdog said this, or see, who just comments on a lot of the videos and sometimes has some really very good ideas. Uh, in fact, a lot of times, and, and I, I'm, I'll make a note of that, try to get a video in on that or start a series of video in on that or whatever. Experiments. Experiments, experiments, experiments. That's how you get good ideas for fishing. Hey, I'm going to try this new kind of rig or I'm going to try this kind of bait or I'm going to try this or whatever. And you just simply document what happens. The one thing you don't want to do on your videos is just wing it. Just turn on the camera and whatever happens, hope it turns out. That's no... You know, in the movies and TVs and sometimes they'll storyboard things. And Rat Dog mentioned this in one of the comments that, oh, people storyboard. You can storyboard. You can get, you can, you can, you can storyboard a couple of different ways. One, you can just kind of block out each page and just make stick, draw stick figures of the action shots you want to capture. Or you can, uh, if you've got some drawing skills, you can actually storyboard your ideas. And that would make, what I do is come up with what they call a shot list. I think I've talked about this before. This week's videos, and I just said, and I just write out in a complete sentence every shot that I want to get. Like for this video, uh, make a video about planning your catfish videos. Explain why winging it, why winging it sucks, makes for sucky videos. You know, show how I plan each video for the week, which I'm right. Uh, explain where I get ideas for videos. Right. Um, explain the importance of minimum and maximum standards, you know, uh, show how to make a shot list, explain how to shoot an event, which I'll get to, explain how to get an establishing shot, Yeah, That's what I do. I just sit there and write that out for each one of those videos, every single one, and I do that most every Monday. Mondays are a real restful, relaxful day for me. Uh, Mondays are more like Saturdays to me, because Saturdays I'm usually out fishing and doing some things too. When you, when you go on a fishing trip, you want to think of that fishing trip as an event because that fishing event has certain points. At some point, you're going to hook up your boat to your truck or whatever. At some point, you're going to get to the river. At some point, you're going to bait up your lines. At some point, you're going to cast or whatever method you're doing. At some point, you're probably going to catch a fish. At some point, you're going to put them in the cooler. At some point, you're going to load the boat back onto the trailer and head home there's your story think about it even if you don't write all this down just think about what's going to happen and take out your camera at every point major point in that trip and it doesn't have to be the same every time but let's say 
okay, I got to load my boat to the truck. Well, you get a shot of your of you literally backing the truck up to the boat trailer, or 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 you can just get a shot of you pulling out of the driveway, or or you just start the video with a shot, a big wide view shot of the river or where you're gonna fish. Like that's what they call an establishing shot. You know, you establish where you are. So three seconds, five seconds of just big wide angle view of the river or the lake or the stream or the pond, whatever. You don't have to tell people where you're fishing, just get a big wide angle shot of it. Oh, he's fishing on the river. You know, a lot of times I show myself cranking the motor or doing a run or getting up on a plane or something like that. And, and so when I do that, that sort of does both. It, it, it shows you where, you where I am. It gets us some action in it, and we know that that's the start of the story. Damon's cranking the motor and get ready to go fishing. You know, you know, and that's how that works. Uh, no need for introductions. Just sh straight into the establishing shot and straight into catching the fish. You know, if you had a million bucks, you could have a an actual camera person on the boat, and then a second boat with another camera, and then my own sort of personal first person camera. That would be three cameras, three camera angles. I don't have that kind of resources. I don't really want to edit that many cameras and splice them all together and having to clap them and get them all synced up. Uh, I have my one camera position. The most important thing is to get people's eyes because that's what people pay attention to more than anything. If you're going to be catching some fish, hey, make sure you, you don't necessarily have to have the hook set because I can never get the hook set. I don't know when the fish are going to bite, but I make sure you see me reeling some fish in, you know, hand lying them in. Or, or pull it, pulling the fish overboard, or get a good shot of the fish after I catch him, and then you, and they just move on to the next shot. So don't be afraid of uh, if ne everything doesn't go to plan. Say your motor blows up. Well, that that's what you're gonna video. Uh, let's say you had a, say you wanted to go catch a trophy catfish, and all you did was catch a little dinky bluegill. Well, make it a dinky bluegill video. The great thing about video is the things that happen by sheer dumb really luck what seemed like sheer dumb luck you know you get this one great shot and it's like oh wow I, you, you hadn't planned on it but there it was you know I don't, even if it's like your grandmother's birthday party same thing you know everybody's gonna show up get a shot of everybody pulling into the driveway you know there's gonna be a lot of laughing and crying well get some shots of people laughing and crying you know there's gonna be opening gifts so make sure you get some shots opening gifts I mean every video can be planned out like that it doesn't even matter if you're shooting video game videos at some point you know you're gonna be killing the big bad boss well make sure you get some shots killing the big bad boss you know you know you're gonna have some shots of you upgrading your gear well make sure you get some shots upgrading your gear whatever it is it doesn't really matter what type video it's just you need to think it out. A lot, most people just don't go that far. But go and do likewise, and I'll talk to you later.